The animal shelter is part of her, her therapy. Animals are the only thing that really seem to have her be, make, make her be completely in the moment. It's been one of the successful um, strategies for helping her deal with, with her illness. Sweet doggy. We've come a long way since June. She went back into the hospital at the end of June through the beginning of August. She came out for her seventh birthday. During that hospitalization, she was started on clozapine, which is the most powerful antipsychotic currently available. The good news about it is that it doesn't have the side effects that the Thorazine did. However, the clozapine has a uh, risk of uh, the destruction of the white blood cells, so she has to get a blood test every week. Jay, let's check in on the turtle, I mean the tortoise. She did okay on the clozapine for about four weeks, and uh, then she started talk about 80 jumping off the, the balcony and saying that 80 was telling her to jump, but she wasn't listening, so she was hospitalized Saturday. for the second time in early October. She came out, and uh, we, we got another few weeks in, but then she became violent again. So once again, the clozapine had to be increased. She was hospitalized again. And as of today, we are at six and a half weeks since her last hospitalization which is her longest stretch out of the hospital this year. So she's had a total of five hospitalizations this year. She's still experiencing the hallucinations. Those most likely will never go away, but we've sort of gotten a sense of what her baseline is. So as long as her hallucinations aren't telling her to hurt herself, we're okay with them. Lately, it hasn't been the rats and the cats so much. Lately, it's been numbers. She sees numbers all the time. For much of this year, I, I felt like we were, you know, we were like the little Dutch boy sticking our finger in the, in the dike against the overwhelming flood of her psychosis and that we weren't going to be able to stop it. For the first time, I feel a sense of hope that not only can we live with it, but that she can actually have a life and, and, and have, have happiness. You know, I think for the most part she's pretty happy, you know, she likes seeing the animals and she's going to school for an hour a day, which is the perfect length of time. Kitty? She's around the other side there. I feel I feel more confident now. You know, I, um, I'm not I'm not scared of her illness anymore. Neither is Susan.